This video deals with accessing and installing the data analysis tool using Excel 2013. Most of the videos in this section are shot with using uh, pre-2007 Excel. So I need to point out some of the differences between the pre-2007 Excel and the version you have of 2013. There are four major differences. One is in installing the data analysis tool. And that's so different between them that I made this video to show you how to install the data analysis tool using 2013. Another difference that's just too big to ignore is how to create regression charts, which we will do in week 11. And there too will be a video specifically for the 2013 version because 2013 version in how you make charts is different from any of the previous versions. However, there are two differences between what you will see on the videos and your version of 2013. One of those is how you access the data analysis tool once it's installed. And I'll show you the differences, but when you're watching the old videos, you'll have to kind of convert in your head to how you do it in 2013. The other is how you format the results of a data analysis once you've got the answers. So first, let's take a look at how you access the data analysis tool. Pre-2007, if you wanted to access the data analysis tool, first you would click on the Tools menu right here, and then in that menu you would click on Data Analysis. So again, you click on the tool menu, and then you click on data analysis. And that's what the videos will tell you to do. However, on 2013, the way you access the data analysis tool is slightly different. Instead of clicking on tools, you click on data tab. And once you've clicked on the data tab, then you go over to where the analysis group is, and you click on data analysis. So again, on the videos, when you see them tell you to click on tools and data analysis, instead you're going to click on data and data analysis. Once you've clicked on data analysis, Excel, all look alike. This is what your choices will be no matter what version of Excel you have once you've clicked on data analysis tool. And this will do a lot of analyses and the videos will show you how to use this tool and how to do hypothesis testing. And that's all very important that you watch those videos on how to do that. Once you've got your answers though, you will format your answers just a little bit differently in the 2013 than in the 2007 version. In the previous version, the ones on the video, you would first go to Format. The video will tell you to go to Format, then to Column, then Auto Fit Selection. But in 2013, what you'll need to do is you'll need to click on Home, and then you'll go to the Cells group, right here, the Cells group, and look for Format. You click on the down arrow under Format and go to Auto Fit Column Width. So when the videos tell you to go to Format, Column, Auto Fit Selection, you need to know that you will go to Home, then Format, then Auto Fit Column Width. Now that we know those differences, we'll talk about how to install the Data Analysis Tool. But before we talk about how to install it, maybe you should look to see if it's already installed. It might be installed on your computer already. Then you don't need to worry about it. All you have to do to see if it is, is you uh, click on the Data tab. You look in the Analysis group. And if there you find Data Analysis, you're set. You can turn off this video and forget about it because you already have it installed. 
If it's not there, then watch the rest of the video. It'll tell you how to get it. First, to install the data analysis tool, which you'll only need to do once per computer, you click on File, and then once you click on the File tab, you will see something that looks like this. And there you go down to where it says click on options or you go down to options and you click on it. And once you click on you will get a, a tool, you'll get a dialog box like this. And what you need to do is look at the left side of the dialog box. And you should look for something that says add ins. Now, if yours does not have add-ins here, that means you have a starter uh, version and you won't be able to use a data analysis tool. So you'll need to use the, the worksheets and the Excel videos that are meant for Macs and PCs using OpenOffice and those using starter versions. But if there is an add-ins tool, then you click on the add-ins tool and of this dialog box will change appearances. It'll look something like this right side over here. What you do is you go to the bottom where it says manage and hopefully it'll say Excel add-ins. But if it doesn't, you click on the down arrow and make sure that it says Excel add-ins. Then all that's left to do is go to go. So click on the go button. Once you click on the go button you will get the add-ins menu and this looks the same no matter what version of Excel you've got. No matter whether it's pre-2003 or 2013. This is uh, what it would look like and you have some choices and we are interested in the choice that says analysis tool pack not the one that says analysis tool pack VBA we're going to leave that one alone but we will look at this one that says analysis tool pack and there's a checkbox the left of analysis toolbox and all you do is click in that checkbox and once you've done that you will see a check mark go next to analysis tool pack. All that's left to do then is to click on OK. Then you can go get a cup of coffee and give it time to install. When it's done installing, you should see in the data section under analysis, you should see data analysis. And that's all there is 